The Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace, almost two tons of pure German luxury. But the thing is, would you buy this car in this segment when it goes against cars like the Toyota Fortuner and the Ford Endeavor? Well, today we're going to find out how this stacks up against the competition. So let's get the basics out of the way. The Tiguan Allspace comes with the brand new 2 liter TSI engine from Volkswagen which is BS6 compliant and all that fancy stuff. It produces 190 horsepower in this iteration with 320 Nm of torque. Pair that to a 7 speed DSG transmission, you have a car which gives out 10.87 km to the liter which is not that bad if you consider that this weighs in at almost 1700 kilos curb weight and can carry seven people. And also, if you think this is a little bit down on power, it's the same engine as the Skoda Superb, Octavia VRS, and other cars in the VAC group. And a simple ECU remap can do the trick, and you can have more than 200 horsepower with a simple ECU and TCU remap. One of the main selling points of the Fortuners and the Endeavors is that they look rugged, and they are rugged, and like they have off-road capabilities. Well, this it's the exact opposite of that, at least in terms of looks. I mean, it looks pretty similar to the last Tiguan that we had in India. It has the same front bumper, it has the same body panels here and there, the same tail lights also. But it still has a few new things like this new redesigned rear bumper with fake exhaust pipes over here. It has new headlights and also a big, big chrome grille. And apart from that, they've added an extended wheelbase to it so that they can accommodate the new third row of seats over here it's a little bit longer also and all in all it has a different a little bit of a different and a more muscular hunched down look it looks like a lifted up estate rather than a proper suv but i'm not complete it looks fabulous when you pull up in an endeavor or a fortuner you can easily be written off as a politician because those are the types of cars politicians usually prefer to buy. But in this, you will be greeted as a businessman whose wife hasn't allowed him to buy a Passat. When it comes to driving, the Tiguan Allspace is fairly simple to drive. You have an excellent steering wheel. The steering wheel itself is very nice to look at. It has paddles which is completely unnecessary in this car. The steering wheel is super light but just like many other Volkswagens, there isn't any feedback of any sort. And when it comes to overtaking power, you have nothing to worry about because the 2 litre TSI is the same engine as in the Octavia VRS, Cora Superb and all those other cars. Put your foot down or like I did, click through the paddles and floor it. Woo! Actually picks up quite nicely and it goes like stink compared to other SUVs because it makes more power than the Endeavor little bit of less torque, 400 compared to 320 but horsepower is the real thing when you want speed and the funny thing is that this car is 4 wheel drive so when you are at a standstill and I do brake boosting this car will go to 0 to 100 in 8.8 .8 seconds so let's try that out And that's a hundred. And the brakes are crazy. You can feel the whole car tipping forward and giving it all when it comes to braking. The suspension is super supple. Uh, the Fortuner has a little bit of a hard and stiff suspension, but this is super nice to drive. I mean, half of the time, small little potholes here and there, you don't even feel them while driving. So that's a really great plus point. And coming to other great things, we'll just look at this interior, man. Absolutely wonderful interior. Steering wheel is on point. You have a virtual cockpit in front of you with amazing graphics. The tachometer, the speedometer, everything is absolutely wonderful. You have a host of things to do in this virtual cockpit. You have a brand new massive infotainment screen over here with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of the connectivity you'll ever need. You have this four carbon fiber kind of finish over here on the door card, on the dashboard and other places around the car. You have a hell of a lot of cubby holes everywhere. You have one over here, you have a few over here, something over here to keep your phone nice, rubber kind of grip to keep your phone. You have big, big 
door pockets so you can keep big bottles and yeah the interior is absolutely wonderful the seats hug you into place you don't go about just floating here and there in corners and yeah it's absolutely amazing this is one of my favorite interiors and i find it much much better in terms of build quality in terms of feel and in terms of comfort than the Ford Endeavor or even the Toyota Fortuner. So you also have a few more features like you have of course the cameras and all the sensors around so you don't bump into things but you have automatic parking also and you can sense the car can sense parking spots and directly park itself into place. So those are a few handy features that Volkswagen also give you. You have DRLs and you have many many other things also. Even if this video is showing you that the Tiguan Allspace does not have off-road capabilities, that's actually not true. Paired with the four-wheel drive system, you actually have off-road modes over here. So you have a snow mode, you have a sand mode, and you have a few other modes here and there. And you can also configure the modes to become individual so that you can have more control over how the car behaves on certain different terrains. But the real thing is, more than driving this car, the Tiguan is more about sitting at the back. So let's check that out. So when you move from the front row to the middle row, this is where the real deal is in it. Because if you're a Tiguan all space owner, this is where you're going to spend most of your time. So when it comes to space, well, I have enough space to keep another human being over here in the footwell. And if I was Shaquille O'Neal, I could fit Peter Dinklage on top of me. So I have enough headroom. And you have this little picnic table over here so you can have your food or whatever it is. When you're sitting at the back of the Tiguan Allspace, it is so supple and it goes so easily on the road that you might just fall asleep. And you also have this massive panoramic sunroof so you don't feel claustrophobic. And these massive, massive windows on here, over here at the side. So, this is me, a 20-year-old kid, over here at the back, extreme back seats of the Tiguan Allspace. The third and last row of seats. And well, yeah. I'm not too comfortable, but if I was a growing child at the age of 12 or 13, I wouldn't mind over here, over here at the back for a few hours. You have a little space to keep your stuff over here, you have a drink holder over here. But all in all, it's not that bad considering how big it is. And you also have these little head rests over here so you can chill out a little bit. But yeah, as a grown adult, I do not think I'm too comfortable over here. But if I was a kid and my height was 5 foot 2, I wouldn't mind over here at all. So, when it comes to the boot, you can open the boot by holding down this key and it opens automatically. Just like that. And when you look inside, you have 340 litres of boot space. Which doesn't look like a lot over here. But the trick is, once you fold down these rear seats, they go all the way down flat and you have 700 liters of loading space and it's pretty easy to pick them up it just has this little latch over here which is quite hard to uh, yep that's one and that's two you have massive amounts of loading space you have your cover over here so if you want a loading cover on top it's right over here and i don't know how to fix it over here right now you have your spare wheel beneath that and yeah, pretty spacious and you can close it just by clicking this. Pretty simple, right? So in my opinion, this is the type of car that people who want everything in one single car should buy. It goes fast, it has off-road capabilities because of its driving modes and four-wheel drive system. It looks good and it looks subtle and not overly gaudy like the Endeavors and Fortuners. And well, it's a Volkswagen. So you have amazing interiors, a decent build quality and reliability is decent too. So if you're looking for a very good, well-rounded SUV, the Tiguan Allspace is the car you should go for. And with that, check out Volkswagen View Bhandari. Before you sign off, please do check out Volkswagen View Bhandari. They have one of the best dealership networks across Pune. So if you're in the market to buy a new Volkswagen like the Tiguan Allspace, T-Rock or any other car from their brand, please do check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe. Tell us what you think about the Tiguan Allspace. And should you go for the Kodiak or should you go for the Tiguan or should you go for anything else in the segment? Please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.